singing that song. It was uh, it was worth it all. It uh, that one song just to hear that made it all night strive worth it. That's all it took, just one song. Whenever the Lord moves, when the Lord moves, He can wipe away. Listen, it don't make any. It don't make any difference how hard we get and how weary. And we can sit and talk about it all we want to. But whenever that spirit moves, there's strength that comes. There sure is. And I I hope that you all will pray for me. I, uh, I could leave right now and go home. And I could feel truly right down in my heart that, that the trip's been worth the trip that the Lord's been here uh, but we don't want to rush things we want to you know we've already started out good and I believe there's more in store for us uh, I hope that you all will be much in prayer what little time I stand before you I'll probably not stand too long I'll give brother Jason all the time that he needs uh, but you know we we read in the Bible about the death of John and how that his head was cut off by Jason And it was cut off and put on a, a charger. Yeah. And you know, no doubt. No doubt, according to the way that I understand the scriptures, it troubled yeah. Jesus when that happened. It did. You all pray just for a few minutes. And the Bible said that uh, he went away there, didn't he? Went there, went away from everyone to be by himself, to be alone. And how many times down through life when When we've heard certain news that we've wanted to just get out, yeah. get out to herself. Yeah. But you know, the Bible said that there was a great multitude yeah. following him. And his disciples, and uh, it, it called it a desert place. Now, I don't know, Brother Jason, if it was out in the middle of a desert, or I don't know if it was just out in a place that was just a barren land. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It don't make any difference. It don't matter what I think about it, Brother Billy. But here's the thing. You know, there was uh, this great multitude of people followed him, and... and uh, said that he had compassion on them. Brother Billy pray just for a few minutes. I'll get out of the way. But he said that he had a compassion upon, upon this multitude there. And they spent the day there. Brother Jason, how many times have, have we all met out together and the Lord have compassion upon us. How many times has, has He blessed us whenever we really wasn't worthy of a blessing? How many times has He been right there when troubles came and trials came and, and tribulations, sickness? But you know, here's what 
And the Bible said there, uh, uh, Brother Billy, you pray just uh, uh, pray for a few minutes. I won't take too much time. Uh, but now here's what uh, uh, the Bible said. Uh, you know, whenever it got close, uh, uh, coming down uh, to, uh, to the evening time there, uh, listen now, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, why, uh, no, day, uh, no doubt this, uh, uh, this multitude, uh, according to the uh, scriptures there, uh, they, uh, they tarried there uh, uh, why, uh, all day. Uh, and, uh, you know, it said, uh, uh, why, uh, why, uh, listen now. Uh, the day is, uh, is past its sin, Brother Billy. Uh, listen now, I'm telling you, uh, uh, we're, uh, we're approaching that. Uh, uh, that evening time now. Uh, uh, we're, uh, uh, we're in the evening hour. Uh, uh, listen, uh, but here's what, uh, here's what uh, I want you to get on, uh, on your mind. Uh, uh, listen now. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, what did they have to eat there? Uh, why? Uh, uh, Brother Billy, now listen. Uh, uh, you can uh, uh, just keep praying and I'll get out of your way. Uh, uh, listen now. Uh, uh, they uh, uh, they uh, uh, didn't have anything there to eat. Uh, uh, but now, uh, uh, listen, there was a little lad there. I uh, uh, had uh, uh, just a few loaves of bread there uh, and a few fish now. Uh, uh, listen now. Uh, and what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Did the master say there uh, when he uh, when he found it out? Uh, he uh, he said, "Bring, uh, bring him hither." Uh, that's what he uh, that's what he said now. Uh, and what did he do there? Uh, he blessed those uh, a few loaves, brother Jason, uh, and uh, those a uh, little fish there. Uh, and I'm telling you uh, that uh, that multitude, uh, that multitude uh, was fed there. Uh, and I believe. Uh, I I believe in my heart now. I, 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 I don't know. I, I believe in my heart now. Every one of them I, I was full. I, I didn't have just a taste now. I, I think I'm feeling up there. Oh, I, I just a few, a few old, I, and a few fish there. I, 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 that's just the way that I, I, the Lord works now. I, I listen now. I, I, we, I, we come to Him. I, I, you know, I, Brother Jason, now uh, we come to him with our uh, our troubles and our trials and tribulations. Now, uh, listen, I can go back. I can go back. Uh, you know, to a starting point there. Uh, you pray just a minute, Jason. I'll get out of your way. Uh, let me clear my mind up just for a second now. Uh, listen, now uh, I can go back now about 42 years ago. Uh, listen, now uh, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, why? Uh, listen, now uh, I can remember uh, a little feller now, uh, you know, uh, that uh, why, uh, he didn't have anything, uh, he didn't have anything now, uh, why, uh, he was without, uh, and I can tell you what, uh, you know, uh, something happened there, uh, why, uh, what do you mean something happened, uh, why, uh, let me tell you something, uh, there was some condemnation coming in now, uh, Brother Billy, uh, what are you talking about? Now, I'm telling you, when the Lord speaks, I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're at, listen now, he's going to get your attention, it's just that, just that simple now, but there was a little boy there, about 20 years old, Brother Jason, listen, I'm all about this now, and I'm telling you, this is, this is, the thing. Why? Listen now. There's a little boy there. I didn't have anything. Why? Thought he didn't need anything. Why? You ever feel like that? I thought he didn't need anything there. Listen, I thought I had everything that I ever need. But I'll tell you what happened. Listen, something moved in. Where did it go? It went back to the heart now. Listen, putting the ring in my nose. I'm not talking about uh, any kind of piercing like that. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the Word of God now. Uh, why? Uh, listen now. Uh, it pierced, uh, it's pierced so, uh, uh, so many hearts now. Uh, uh, but now here's what. Uh, uh, here's what happened. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, it opened my eyes enough now. Uh, 
and he'd open the next one. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and then I could see uh, uh, where I was at. Uh, I could see where I was at. Uh, I could see where I needed to be, uh, but I couldn't get there. Uh, but now listen, uh, why? Uh, Jesus Christ moved in, uh, had compassion uh, upon, uh, upon each and every one of us. <coughs> and he took he didn't feed me uh, while well, I was natural food. Uh, Brother Jason now, uh, I bet I listened to those little basket there. Uh, Why? Well, uh, they took it up back yonder. Uh, Why? Well, uh, you know, after he fed uh, uh, this multitude, uh, 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 this great multitude now, uh, why, with these few little fish now, uh, and these few loaves of bread, uh, uh, listen now, uh, uh, there was some, uh, uh, there was some baskets, uh, uh, that was filled up there, uh, according to uh, the Bible, there was 12 baskets, uh, uh, listen, uh, I'm telling you something, Brother Charles, uh, uh, I've got a key for one of those baskets now, uh, uh, listen now, uh, and it's the same, uh, why, he might say, well, uh, it wasn't no good. Uh, it don't never spoil, Brother Billy. Uh, and they said, it don't ever get old. Uh, and they said, uh, well, uh, I ain't out of the baskets now. Uh, and that was taken up that day. Uh, and they said, now, uh, that's what I've done. Uh, Brother Jason, I'll tell you what. Uh, well, uh, it, killed, it filled me up now. Uh, I'll tell you what, Brother. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm still full front now. Uh, it's going to be going now for 42 years. Uh, and I'm telling you, I believe it'll keep me going 142 more. I'll never get hungry. Sometimes now, Brother Charles, we get down on ourselves, don't we? That's something I can get just a little bit relaxed, you know. But I'll tell you what, whenever that spirit moves now, I'm telling you, Brother Jason, I'll tell you what it'll do. It'll lift you up. It'll carry you away. Or is it taking this boy out there? What will happen sometimes? It's ready to end now. I don't know. But now here's the thing. You know, what are you going to do with it? Why? you got to eat. you got to eat before you know what. you got to taste something. That's right. You know, whenever I was, whenever I was growing up, my mom used to fix homemade vegetable soup, and I told her, I said, I ain't eating that stuff. Looks like somebody threw it up. That's what I told her. And I'll tell you what, Gail can make that same vegetable soup. I'm telling you the truth, I'll eat every drop of it. <laughs> I told my mother, that's what I told her, I said, I ain't eating that. I said, it looks like, looks like somebody broke it up to me. And I'd never eat it. But here's the thing. Once I tasted it, I liked it. That's just like salvation. You get you a little taste of it. I bring it really out here on you. Yeah, you can't stop with just one, one little taste of that, huh? You can't take it, huh? It's just like, you know, a lazy potato chip. They say you can't eat just one of them things, huh? I'm telling you, huh? They don't know what they're talking about, huh? You might be able to, huh? Throw the old bag away and not eat no more than the taste. You find no taste of it, but you can't throw away salvation. You can't throw away, huh? A salvation. Uh, whenever you get it now, uh, you got it. Uh, whenever uh, the more blessings you get, uh, the more you want. Uh, this is now, I'll tell you what it'll do. Uh, well, uh, it'll be right there. Uh, when you're out there all by yourself now, uh, it'll take you through uh, the troubles and trials and tribulations. Uh, people can talk bad about you. Uh, it ain't going to matter. Uh, why? Uh, they can look down their noses on you. Uh, it ain't going to matter. Really. I'll tell you what it'll do. Whenever you get so high you don't care if you ever come back. The Lord's been good to us. He's been a whole lot better to me than what I ever deserved. You know, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Whenever they were out there, when they were out there, and they, that little boy had all these, or had these few fish and these yeah. few loaves. I'd say there was people that said, 
There ain't no way. There ain't no way we can eat of this and be filled. But whenever the Lord blesses, He can take just a little tiny thing and make a great big meal. He can take, He can take, listen, He can take a little old boy. What do you work on? Thought he had everything. And bless him. Or a little girl. And bless him. And that which was nothing becomes a child of God. Yeah. Yeah. What else can you what else could you want? What else could you want? I'm telling you. You know, I ain't got a whole lot here. And we're going away from home and I don't know, may go back to my house to be burnt down. I don't know. No. But I'll tell you what. I've got to hold my way on. Yes. Now I can't Lord. I can't take you if I could. If I could take people with me. I tell you what I'd do. I'd take I'd be like everybody else. I'd take my children first. Yes. And then I'd take everybody else's. And I wish we could. Yes. But it's an individual thing. It's an individual thing. My mother, as hard as she prayed, she couldn't save me. She was there tonight I was saved. And I, I, believe, I do believe this. She probably got just about as much out of it as I did. She was blessed. But she couldn't save me. I can't save my children. I can't. But I'll tell you what. I can point them to one that can do all of them. Nothing is impossible for the Lord to do. Nothing at all. And you know, it is a wonderful thing. This is what people don't realize. It's wonderful to meet out here in other churches and feel, feel that spirit and feel the love. But now listen. I'll tell you what, Brother Charles, and I don't have to tell you, you know this. It's even better. Brother Billings, really? it's even better. Yeah. Whenever you're troubled, you can't talk to somebody. Trials and tribulations have surrounded you. And you find your little spot somewhere. And you go down on your knees. And you say, Lord, here I am. It's me. I need a little bit. Listen, I'll tell you what he'll do right there, man. I'll give you a what? I'll tell you what. He'll reach down with that mighty hand of his. And one touch is all it takes now. Listen, this is the one that can calm, calm the seas now. Just the same peace, be still. This is the one. Then I can take a little old boy that thought he had everything and bring him right down to where he needed to be. Then put him on, put him on a highway, and not just any highway now, but a highway of holiness now that leads. It starts out here, brother. I'm telling you now, it'll start right here. Why? Right here in this old church where Lord will. It'll start out here, and it'll lead you right over there. Uh, I, I believe that. Uh, I believe with all my heart now it's a narrow road. Uh, but now listen, uh, I believe uh, there's a lot of beauties along this road now. Uh, listen down. Uh, there's a lot of blessings now. Uh, but, uh, but we can't number them. Uh, but now uh, the Lord has been good to us now. Uh, and uh, oh, brother, uh, uh, brother Jason, we don't even deserve what he's done for us. <coughs> but by his mercy. I'll tell you what, I'm glad. I'm glad that he had mercy because if I'd have got what I deserved it wouldn't have been a very pretty sight. But now I'm going to tell you something. There's people 
There's people here, and I'm not saying right here at this church, but there's people here on earth that is going to say amen to their own condemnation. They're going to say, I had my chance, and I turned my back. I went the other direction. And you know, Brother Billy, I, I've got my own belief, and maybe I, I ain't. I, will. I just tell you what, Billy. We live in a beautiful world. But our beautiful world is starting to turn ugly. I believe there's some people right here on earth that know that they have sinned away their day of salvation. Yeah. And they're, made, they're, they're miserable. They know it. Yeah. And they want everybody around them to be miserable. And you know, the only peace that we're going to have is these meetings where we come together, where we can feel the Spirit. That's, 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 that's the peace that we're going to have. But I'll tell you what, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad it gets, we know, we know what's ahead of us. How do we know? It tells us right in here. It tells us. We know what's ahead of us. We know that there's a day coming. And this old body that you see, we're wearing out every day. Every day we're wearing out more. But now I'm telling you, there's going to be a day when uh, this body, listen, <laughs> this body is going to be changed, brother. We'll have glorified body. One that's like in the Christ. We'll be a glorified body. There'll be no pain. There'll be no heartache. There'll be no sickness. And we'll have to have a, a body like that from Charles because I'm telling you that. And this old body that we got right now, what? Well, uh, it ain't going to be where we're headed. Uh, it's going to be a different body. Uh, a one uh, where we can uh, rejoice forever and ever. Uh, a one where uh, we'll never uh, get tired. We'll, uh, we'll never get sick. Uh, but uh, it'll be uh, why uh, there'll be no measure of time. Uh, brother, uh, there'll be uh, there'll be no end.